Hello everyone and welcome back to part 2 of this tutorial. Well, the audio to animation option has done a very good job for having only an audio file. It is the fastest way to get a simple facial animation. Now let's have a look to real motion capture. Unreal Engine is now able to use a plain 2D video source with no depth information at all to create a stunning facial animation. This is a great solution for those who don't have the ability to connect a camera to their computer. Let's try out how good the result is. Go to the Tools menu and choose the Live Link Hub. Switch from Live Data to Capture Manager. Hit the plus button to add a new device and choose Mono Video Ingest. Select it and in its details panel search for the folder on your hard drive where the video you want to use is stored. Now in the Take browser all videos in that folder will show up. Select the one you want to use and click on Add to Queue. Click on Start and wait until you see the green check mark in the status display. I got one screen recording from the Creator plugin and a real person filmed with a handheld camera to see if Unreal Engine can handle this. Now we can close the Live Link Hub. Right click to the content browser and create another MetaHuman performance. For the input type choose Monocular Footage. For the footage capture data choose the just created data file. Let's start with the screen recording video. By moving the green and red marker, you can set an in and out point for the processing. For the visualization mesh, use again your MetaHuman skeletal face mesh. Choose the control rig for the head movement. If needed, you can set a specific frame to calibrate a neutral pose in your video. I leave this off and everything else at its default. Then click on Process. Wow! Just from a plain video file. Let's check out the other video. Just exchange the footage capture data. Remember, this is a handheld recording and she also moves her hands in front of her face. Ok, hit Process. Unreal Engine did a very good job. So the export process and the usage inside a level sequence is exactly the same as you have seen in part 1 of this tutorial with the audio to animation option. But I found another solution for the floating head problem. I told you to export the animation sequence twice. But with this way you only have to export the animation sequence with head movement. If you add the animation to the face component of the MetaHuman, the head is disconnected from the body. So bake the animation to the face control rig. Then search for IK. Delete all keyframes in the head IK switch track and set it to zero. The head is now attached. The last option is the life option. If you have any camera, DSLR or webcam connected to your computer, you can directly record your own facial motion capture for your MetaHuman. So open the Live Link Hub again. Click the plus button to add a new source and choose MetaHuman Video. Select it and now you can choose your video device and the video format. Then click Connect. If everything works fine, you will see your camera with a green check mark in the Subjects tab. By selecting it, you can choose if you want to see a preview of your camera or the tracking markers. Then minimize the Live Link Hub. Don't close it. For a better performance, I recommend to switch the viewport scalability to low and the view mode to unlit. 
to prevent lagging. Select your MetaHuman in the Outliner and for the LiveLink subject, select your camera. If you check Use LiveLink, you are immediately live. But we need to record the animation. So go to the Windows menu and search for Take Recorder. Then give your scene a name and drag your MetaHuman to the Take Recorder source tab. By selecting it, you can customize a bunch of parameters in the Properties panel. I leave everything to its default. If you want to record audio as well, you need to add another source and choose Microphone Audio. Now check Use Live Link again and hit Record. Wait a couple of seconds, maybe three, before you start your performance. Otherwise, the beginning could be cut off. Now, have fun! After stopping the recording, you can close the Take Recorder. In the Cinematic folder, you will find the recorded audio and the recorded animation. Let's bring it together inside a level sequence. You can close the LiveLink Hub and switch back to Lit Mode and your desired viewport scalability. Use the same steps I showed you before. And at the end, drag and drop the recorded audio to the timeline. Hello everyone! And welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. The audio is a little bit off, so try to move the audio track a couple of frames to the right. Hello everyone! And welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So, this is live, like tracked by camera and synchronized with the microphone. Yeah, let's see if this works. Now you know three options how to create facial motion capture animations for your MetaHuman. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you like it. And it was helpful. If you want more tutorials like this, just leave a comment. Cheers!